So, you've decided to venture into the Eden Editor, but have no clue how it works or where to start. This series is for you. In this series, we'll be going over how to use the Armor 3 Mission Editor to create funny, multiplayer compatible, and complex missions from hero to zero. This episode will cover how to move around in the Eden Editor, place in the groups of individuals, give them waypoints and create your first basic firefight. Wow! Your movement keys to move the camera like I'm moving right now are WASD, right click and dragging the mouse to change your view. If you wish to zoom around like this, you can hold the left shift button while you use your WASD. To go up and down in the Eden Editor, you'll be using Q for Quebec and Z for Zulu to move the camera on a vertical axis. These are your basic movement keys, and with these you'll be able to zoom around the map. Nice. But if you would like to get to the other side of the map, instead of having to fly all the way there with your camera, you can actually, if you can see it visually, put your mouse at it and click F and it will teleport you to where you want. Or you can open the map, zoom out, and use the middle mouse button by pressing it down to teleport to different places in the map. Like so. So, now we're gonna be discussing how to place individuals, assign groups, and give waypoints. This episode's quite a quick one just to cover the very basics before we start going into the more complex stuff. So on your right here, you have your assets tab. On the left, you have your entities and locations. These are preset baked into the map, the locations are. The entities tab is what is currently placed in the world. So for example, if we come over to our set browser and we decide, mm, I think I wanna go NATO Woodland Men, and we've got a bunch of guys. Now these are DLC guys, as you can see by on the right, they have a little icon. To place a character, all we need to do is go find the character we want to place in the Assets tab. In this, we'll just do a Rifleman, left click on the Rifleman, and left click on the map where you would like to place him. Now the keybinds to manipulate their position is left click and drag to move their normal position. Alt and drag your mouse up and down to move their height. Shift and drag your mouse around will do their rotation. Easy as that. So if we just go to our normal men, obviously there's nothing there bar a couple of them. This one will require the Marksman DLC, Jet DLC, Vice Versa. It's pretty obvious. So, so that is how you place individual people. As you can see right now, what's happening is I placed them near each other and it started making these lines and these little things come out the top. This is a group identifier. Alpha 1-1 one, one is this group. Well, basically, if you want to prevent them being in the same group, you just need to spawn them far enough away, like here. Now we have two separate groups. And let's say we want to manually make our groups up because we've placed them too far away, but we're meant to actually have them in the same group. Never fear. Select one of your characters, hold control, left click, drag to the person you want to be the group leader. And now he is now under this guy's command and I can identify the group. I can select the group and give a waypoint and you'll see what it actually does is just give a waypoint inside the group. So you don't need to go and select every single individual and add a waypoint. It's the same thing. To do a waypoint, you, the keybind is left shift and right click. And we'll just go and create a little route for them to follow. Now that we've hit play, he's going to start doing that waypoint route we've given him. Now, you might be thinking, dang it, really? I don't wanna, I don't feel like making every single squad myself. Well, you're in luck. The compositions tab has already made preset groups of infantry. If we go to NATO, we can go to infantry only squads. We can have a fire team, and someone here will likely have a rocket launcher, like this guy here. We have sentries, we have recon squads, we have air defense teams with their stinger missiles, 
weapons squads, and we keep getting bigger, assault squads, and let's see if we can find something even better than bigger than that. Rifle squad, about the same size. And you also notice there's motorized infantry squad presets, so you can have vehicles, HMGs, we can go mechanized infantry, you can get a mechanized rifle squad, and they have an APC, a support squad, an anti-armor, you name it, air defense, they even get their own little air defense vehicle. So you can get pre-made groups. What we can do is group all of these guys into one big group to save CPU performance because a leader takes more CPU usage than just a regular member of a group being led. However, if I was to group all of these vehicles and infantry squads together, they wouldn't really know what to do and become overwhelmed because your chain of command is a single guy. So let's fix that and not try and do that. What we want to do is try and group as many infantry squads as we can together if it's just infantry. So we can grab Alpha 1, 2, hold left, control, drag to Alpha 1, 3 and make them one group. And that shouldn't cause us any dramas. We could even do this. We can go the same thing. Left, left click, left control, drag. And we have a big infantry squad, but do not mix and match vehicles and infantry squads. Now we've got our large group, we can either drag over all of them and put a waypoint down, like so, or we can go to left, left click and then hold control and click on all of the other ones with our left mouse button to multiple select. We'll then come over to our enemies and we'll go shift right click to create a waypoint. Now we'll leave it at move, but if you wanted to change the waypoint type, don't double click, you'll only change one waypoint type. Come to the entity browser, right click on one of them with all of them selected, go to attributes and change it to say seek and destroy and everyone will then be changed to a seek and destroy waypoint. For the purposes of this, we'll just use a move and you'll see that the AI will just do their job automatically. However, if we want them to use the roads, because you might be thinking, well, Sam, how does this work? Because you've just put one waypoint. Are they just going to try and become mountain goats and climb over any obstacle like these cliffs to get here? And the answer is yes and no, depending on the behavior we set the waypoint. If we go to our attributes, we can have a look. Behavior. Careless is the same as safe, but what it, it's just when you're having a lot of trouble with the AI and it will keep it at careless until you manually switch it yourself using either a trigger or some other means. Safe means it is a non-combat behavior, characters have weapons lowered, vehicles follow roads and use lights, they automatically switch to aware upon spotting a threat. Aware, default behavior, characters are in a ready position, vehicles prefer roads, do not use lights, and their passengers will disembark to counter threats. We're going to use this one for this, so hopefully they disembark upon spotting these guys, and these guys still have the element of surprise anyway. And we'll set their speed. Combat mode, we're going to go open fire, that's just their ROE. Hit OK, and we can see how it unfolds. So each leader of each squad is going to be telling their men to either jump in or, and the ones without vehicles are going to walk. But as you can see, we've already got people heading out. See their stances are changing. The firing is happening. The G, they're returning fire. And this is the, our first fire five. The backups are joining. They have a lat. It's blown up the infantry. We've got a lot of men going down. Let's see, do they, is he gonna try and dismount his men or is he too got, yep, these men are trying to dismount. They're about to get blown up. Here they go. Oh, I'm ambushed, not out in time. This has been the first episode of the Armor 3 Eden Editor Zero Two Hero series. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please consider subscribing. I have a Patreon if you'd like to support my work and my crippling caffeine addiction. Enjoy your week and I'll see you in the next one.